Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It is around 7.30 and I just got in from a walk thinking and evaluating. Definitely need to make sure that I'm physically active every single day. I know that has a huge impact on how I'm feeling. So I got a really good four mile walk in. I chose not to run because my knee's feeling a little sticky today. <laughs> so it took it a little bit easier, but had a really nice walk. Listen to the new Taylor Swift album, Evermore. It is amazing. Just like all of her albums, but the writing I just feel like is so good and so poetic and so cerebral. I'm loving it. We'll share some of my favorite songs from it <laughs> later today as I continue to listen to it. I am going to warm up with a cup of coffee. It is 26 degrees, so it was a cold walk, but I feel really good that I did it. I really have just a little bit of more pre-work. I got up at around 4.15 and got a lot of work done for today. I have a little bit more pre-work. I have a longer uh, team meeting around diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we're just going to have some really good conversation and shift our lenses and see other perspectives and experiences and grow as people. Uh, so I'm excited about that. It should be a lot of fun. And then the afternoon is a lot of work time to get ahead of work for next week so I can close out and go on my winter break really beautifully and seamlessly, knowing that when we return on January 4th, I have a long, runway of work done to really help balance and set the new year off really successfully and like i told you guys earlier i'm going to be working from home until january 20th so i'd like to just get ahead so i can really feel really nice work-life balance from home that first start of 2021 finally a new year so that's what's happening this morning nothing too exciting but also really nice all right, I'm gonna get out of these clothes. I'm gonna get warmed up. I'm gonna get another cup of coffee and get a little work done. Also, if no one's told you yet today, you're amazing. Hi everyone, it is 4.45. I'm just done working. Steven just wrapped up working. And in great news, he's making a Rachel Ray recipe. <laughs> I've become since the pandemic happened, the quarantine and everything, on days that I don't have to go into the office, I've become addicted to Rachel Ray in the morning. I have her on. But only when she's at her house. You don't like her studio shows. No, I, don't, I don't like her studio shows because she's too much and it's too early in the morning for all that, but. Why are your, what did you do to your hands? Um, I was defrosting the freezer outside. And you got that aggressive? A little bit, yeah. There was, I had to take a part off and it's defrosting now. Anyway, um, I really don't like her show when she has a studio audience, just because she, she's a lot of... I thought that was a bone. She's a lot of, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. you know, she's at home, because she's been at home since the pandemic has started, and now I think this season she's entirely at home. She's much more mellow, and I can relate to her better. So, um, today, she made, or she, yeah, she made a pasta dish um, with chicken. You can make it with tuna. Obviously, we're making it with chicken because nobody wants tuna smell in this house. So, we're making tomato, um, chicken, spaghetti on Rachel Ray's. Rotisserie. Did she use a rotisserie chicken? She did. She oh. said that she went out to the store and bought a rotisserie chicken. So it's not like I'm cheating by using this rotisserie. So this is what she had. I have to blanch the spinach and we have the pasta going. We're going to make a cocktail really quick. So basically what we're doing is, is that we're, we are doing the Rachel Ray show with the two of us in reverse because it's her and her husband her husband makes the cocktails and she makes the food. So, usually he makes the cocktail at the end of the show. We're making the cocktail at the beginning. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, 
nothing super fancy. I usually will make this with vodka, but we have this Prosecco that needs used. So this is a blood orange Italian soda that I really like. It's really good. I'm gonna add some of that. I mean, we are keeping this low key. I'm gonna add some Prosecco to this. I got these really cute stirs. The same place I got the acrylic trees. I'll leave it linked below. They're really cute. We're going to add these clementines to it. <laughs> All right, there's our little Christmas cocktail. I'm gonna hand the camera back to Steven for his Rachel Ray recipe. So the last time I did this, things got a little out of hand, but I'm in a better place now. We're going. <laughs> Mentally or skill wise. Um, well, I, I, I've never blanched spinach, but I read on how to do it, so hopefully it'll turn out. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I think the spinach is almost blanched. I'm gonna have to put one cold water over it, and it should be fine. What do you think? Okay, so we have blanched the spinach over here. I don't know if this is the right way to blanch spinach, but uh, it looks fine and it's soft. So I think that uh, this should do. And now we have to slice our shallots and our garlic. As well as the rest of the garlic. We'll loosen this up and combining everything. All right, so this is coming together nicely. I have to get our red wine and I'll put the chicken in and get the pasta ready and then we should be done. Our department has not been called yet. Bubba's is still waiting. He knows there's pasta involved in this dinner. Otherwise, he probably, and chicken. Can we wait to put the chicken in? So one thing I always like to do while I am cooking is I like to clean up after myself so I don't have to do it at the very end. So while this is all cooking, I'm going to go throw some stuff in the dishwasher. I want to have a big mess at the end of the dinner. Just to cook this for 10 minutes. I still smell a little bit of the Prosecco in this mixture. So now I'm going to add our rotisserie chicken picked apart. Just mix it in. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Well, it already is cooked, but heated all the way through. And if only you would learn to clean up. Okay, so we need to save some of the starchy water from the pasta to put in later. So we'll do that. But this is coming together very nicely. And it's nice to have a mirror above your stove so that you can see what's going on behind you so nobody attacks you while you're cooking. Also, so nobody comes in here and starts bothering you while you're cooking, like it often happens while I'm doing this. So it doesn't really get that dirty, but we don't really fry a lot of food. Uh, sometimes if we do fry stuff, it does end up on the mirror, but it's easy to clean. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good because it makes you think that you're looking at something else other than the wall where you're cooking. So this mixture is looking delicious. That's my Christmas spirit right there. Thank you, William Sonoma. My apologies to Rachel if it doesn't come out to her standards. But, you know, I haven't been cooking very long and... All right, friends, Steven's dinner was delicious. It was probably the best he's ever done. But now it's time to do some advent calendars. We got another little elf to add to our collection. A goat milk wash for your hands. A candle. And it's called Fireside. Oh my gosh, it is the faux de bois candle from Diptyque which is our favorite. It is exactly what it smells like. 
Pour some sugar on me. We got some pink flamingos. If I'm right, these are like grapefruity. Our amazing cookie calendar, which is truly the best of all of them. This one's a little bell. I'm gonna have that while editing. Yes, it's time for yours. It's day, <laughs> yours is a mess. It's day 11, it's right here. Ooh. Yeah, you make a mess on the floor. It turned out to be a really busy long day. And it's six o'clock and I still need to edit and upload and all the things. So, I thought we would end with me telling you, you all have to listen to the Taylor Swift album and my favorite songs are as follows. Willow, Champagne Problems, Tis the Season, Tolerate It, No Body, No Crime, Dorothea, Ivy, Long Story Short, Marjorie, would probably be my favorites on the album. But the whole album's good. Like, you don't have to skip a song. Every song is amazing, but those are my favorites. I mean, I've been doing some reflecting. During the quarantine, Taylor Swift wrote two pieces of art. My biggest accomplishment was like putting on jeans. Um, I hope you enjoyed some time with Steven. He really helped me out today, just because I'm really tired. But I love you all, and we will have a great weekend together. And I will only have one more week of work, and then Vlogmas is all I'll have to do. I'm super excited though for the weekend, but I'm gonna leave it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.